Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss network filters and transmission line topics. Uh, this uh, that is nothing but a continuation of filters. In this uh, in this video, I want to explain filter designs. Filter designs. There are mainly three types of filter designs. First one constant K type filter. Second one M derived uh, M derived type filters. Third one composite type filters. First one, uh, in case of constant K type filters, these are basic type filters. But uh, these basic type filters have some disadvantages. That is, it uh, the, it does not attenuate uh, after cutoff frequency is rapidly. Uh, so that's why. And uh, one more uh, disadvantage is uh, it does not provide impedance matching. Uh, does not provide impedance matching constant uh, throughout the attenuation. So that's why to overcome this disadvantages of constant K type filter. Uh, uh, to overcome this constant K type filter, M derived filters are developed. Uh, this uh, the M derived filter is nothing but it is a modification of constant K type filter. And coming to the composite type filters, these are the combination of both constant K type and M derived type filters. Coming to the constant K type filter, these filters are simple filters. These filters are simple filters. Coming to this, uh, a constant K type filter is one. In which product of this shent, this series element and shent, uh, shent element is constant. That is, the product of series impedance and shent impedance is constant. Is constant. And coming to this uh, characteristic equation, characteristic uh, impedance Z naught square equal to L by C. That is, Z naught equal to root L by C. Root L by C. And also, this constant K type filters are also called as prototype filters prototype filters very very important question it is uh, the constant k type filters are also known as prototype filters and next coming to low pass filter low pass filter uh, what is the characteristics of uh, low pass filter low pass filter it allows only low frequencies it allows only low frequencies and uh, it uh, attenuates high frequencies or it does not allow the high frequencies high frequencies Okay, here it is a T type, uh, T section type uh, low pass filter. It is a pi section type low pass uh, low pass filters. And uh, coming to this characteristic, it allows that means G, from zero to FC. That is FC is nothing but cutoff frequency. From zero to FC, it is a pass band. That means it allows all the frequencies. It allows all the frequencies. That means uh, from zero to FC, it allows all the frequencies. After FC. It is a stop band. It is a stop band. That means it does not allow any frequencies. It is a stop band. And in case of any low pass filter, the very very important point is in case of any low pass filter, the series element, the series element, this is the series element. This is the series element. The series element is nothing but inductive. For low pass filter, it is a in the series element is nothing but inductive. And shent element is capacitive. And shent element is capacitive. And shent element is capacitive. Very very important point that is. And coming to the formulas of this low pass filter, FC cutoff frequency FC equal to one by pi root LC and Z naught equal to root L by C and L equal to L value L equal to Z naught by pi FC L equal to Z naught by pi FC and capacitance C equal to 1 by 2 pi fc into z naught 1 by 2 pi fc into z naught okay and next low, high pass constant k type filter high pass constant k type filter high pass constant k type filter in this high pass filter the series element is capacitive the series element is capacitive and shent element is inductive and shent element is inductive this is a t type uh, high pass constant k filter it is a pi type high pass constant k filter for this uh, high pass constant k filter from 0 to fc it is a stop band or that means it does not allow low frequencies it does not allow low frequencies after the fc only it allows the frequencies that means uh, from 0 to FC, it is a stop band. Stop band. After FC, it is a 
pass band pass band that means it allows all the frequencies after the cut off frequencies after the cut off frequency that means uh, high pass filter allows only high frequencies and blocks the low frequencies okay here series element is nothing but capacitive shunt element is nothing but inductive and the formulas for this high pass constant kt filter for the values is uh, and uh, inductance value l equal to z naught by 4 pi fc 4 pi fc and c equal to 1 by 4 pi fc into z naught and ca and cut off frequency fc equal to 1 by 4 pi root lc and z naught equal to root l by c root l by c and coming to the disadvantages of constant kti filter i already told about this disadvantages of constant kti filter attenuation does not increase rapidly attenuation does not increase rapidly and sharply beyond cutoff frequency and that means uh, what is the function of uh, uh, constant kti filter uh, it is a it fill it, it filters the frequencies but attenuation does not increase rapidly and sharply beyond the cutoff frequencies this is a one of these disadvantages uh, and the second disadvantage is the characteristic impedance the characteristic impedance nothing but z naught does not remain constant during the pass band actually the uh, main function of this uh, main characteristic of this uh, any type of filter is the characteristic impedance must be maintained constant in the pass band but here the characteristic impedance does not remain constant during the pass band that means it giving rise to reflection losses it giving rise to reflection losses so to overcome all these disadvantages uh, m derived filters are developed m derived filters are developed this m derived filter m, in this case of m derived filter the series and shunt elements the series and shunt elements in m derived networks series and shunt elements in m derived networks are modified by some constant m modified by some constant m to overcome the uh, constant k k filter disadvantages to overcome the constant k filter disadvantages the series and shunt element parameters are modified with constant m this constant m so that's why these are called m derived low m derived filters m derived filters and coming to m derived low pass filter we know that uh, for a low pass filter series element series element is inductive shunt element is capacitive this is the modification of uh, modification of constant k filter with uh, constant m m l by 2 m series elements are m l by 2 m l by 2 and shunt element is m c and also some modification with inductance 1 minus m l square by 4 m into l this is the pi type this is the pi type and coming to the formulas here coming to the formulas uh, r naught or z naught any anyone r naught or z naught characteristic impedance equal to root l by c and uh, cutoff frequency fc equal to 1 by pi root lc and l equal to r naught by pi fc and c equal to 1 by pi fc into r naught or z naught anyway r naught or z naught both are uh, nothing but const uh, characteristic impedances characteristic impedances and here the frequency of infinite attenuation the frequency of infinite attenuation is f infinity equal to fc by root of 1 minus m square fc by root of 1 by 1 minus m square and coming to m derived high pass filter the series element is capacitive that is 2c by m and shunt element is and shunt element is inductive that is l by m l by m coming to the formula formulas r naught equal to root l by c and cutoff frequency equal to 1 by pi root lc and f infinity equal to here f into root of 1 minus m square here fc by root of 1 minus m square ikkada the uh, uh, from here uh, f infinity equal to fc into root of 1 minus m square and l equal to r naught by fc c equal to 1 c equal to 1 by pi fc r naught here r naught is nothing but uh, characteristic impedance are uh, equal to z naught are equal to z naught here r naught is also equal to z naught r naught equal to z naught r naught equal to z naught and next one composite type filters composite type filters it is a combination of both 
k type filters and m derived filters it is a constant uh, com it is a combination of both k type and m derived filters m derived filters here uh, this is a terminating off section it is a terminating off section the uh, in case of terminating off section uh, off section the m value equal to 0.6 m value equal to 0.6 it is a very very important bit in case of terminating off section the m value is uh, equal to 0.6 0.6 and some uh, equations for uh, filters equation for filters for low pass filter very very important these four equations are very very important for any competitive exam for low pass filter the equation equal to low pass filter the equation for low pass filter k by s square plus a s plus b k by s square plus a s plus b for high pass filter k is replaced by s square so s square by s square plus a s plus b for band pass filter it is s by s square plus a s plus b for band star filter it is k plus s square by s square plus a s plus b k plus s square by s square plus a s plus b these equations are very very important okay please remember all these uh, equations for uh, corresponding uh, filters and uh, next one uh, here uh, multi stage band pass filter multi stage band pass filter when low when a low pass filter and high pass filters connected in series connected in series uh, then it forms a multi stage band pass filter then it forms a multi stage band pass filters when low pass filter and high pass filters are connected in series it forms a multi stage band pass filter multi stage band pass filter okay friends Thank you. In the next video, I will discuss remaining network filters and transmission line topics. Okay. Okay. Thank you and all the best.